Elimination night in the Triple ABA tournament. Johnstown champs Martellus Pharmacy needing to beat Columbus to extend their week. A loss would match last year's record of one and two, and the Columbus manager doing the chicken dance, having a good time tonight. Martellus pitcher Jesse Cooper loaded the bases in the first, gets a big strikeout to get out of a jam. Tied 2 2 in the fifth. Johnstown's bats bust out with a big inning. Luke Williams gets it going with a little wall ball. That scores Nate Negri to make it 3-2. Then Ian Helsel getting involved. The Ferndale grad drives in Anthony Finelli to make it 6-2. The hits keep on coming in the ninth. Then Luke Williams again a double, bringing Tony Strazer around from first. Martellus stays alive with a 10-4 win. It started with six solid innings from Mr. Cooper. I trust our offense. I knew we were going to explode at some point. Um, I just tried to hold the other team off and do my thing on the mound and try to uh, get out of some jams, which I did, and uh, trust my stuff and throw some strikes. We started to drive the ball and, and spray the ball all over the field, and it's a story with us all season uh, when we have good approaches and good at-bats and, uh, and use the whole field. We can, we can put runs, runs up in a bunch. Earlier today, Laurel Auto Group taking on Chicago Metro. Both teams undefeated going in, game tied going into the seventh. And Chicago busts open with four in the frame. Patrick Murphy doubles in a pair, and Metro led nine to five. Laurel Auto responds immediately. Bottom seven, Dom Farina with a clutch double of his own. Two score to make it nine to seven. It was nine eight going into the bottom of the ninth. Two on, one out. Farina lines out, and Laurel Auto gets doubled up to end the game. A brutal way to end it. Final score 9 to 8 at Roxbury this afternoon. Altoona in Philadelphia, the other two unbeatens. This game overshadowed by a broken bat hitting two Philly players, but how about that fine Altoona catch in center field? Then in the fourth, Jexton Pugh going about 340 on this blast. The BG Marauder ties it at deuces. Philly made it 3 2 in the fifth, and then Joe Santos Pago finds the gap. An easy double for him, and it scores a pair. Altoona falls and will play Laurel Auto tomorrow. All of Wednesday scores on our ticker right now, also up on the sports page at WJCTV.com. Here's Thursday's schedule. New Brunswick and Schenectady get it started at 10. Lone unbeaten Chicago and Philly play at Roxbury at 1. Laurel Auto and Wise Trailer play at the point at noon. And Johnstown, New Orleans wraps it up at 7 o'clock.